my name is Jason Lanier, and welcome to the official review of the Rotolite Titan X1. This is a hands-on, in the field, how it works review. We're gonna talk about light output, diffusion, color, the flash capabilities on this light, the battery life on it, the portability, how to set it up in the field, special effects, the touch screen, and the value and price. I hope you're ready, because this light is amazing. Light output. When I first got this light, I really wanted to see what it could do. Could it actually overpower the sun? Could an LED light give me those fake skies? Exposure for the sky, power and flash. Miss Maddie looks like she's ready to win the next Heidi contest. And no, they aren't really fake, but they just look amazing. That detail, the color, that's what a great light can do. It can give you the ability to expose for everything in your composition. We even shot it through an old, dirty window. Look at the flash strobing through, giving me plenty of light output, creating beautiful cinematic results. Absolutely stunning shots coming out of this light. And even in LED mode, this thing gives you a lot of light. Check this out, that's an LED mode. And look at that, just absolutely beautiful shooting into the sun. Smart Diffusion, this is an incredible piece of engineering. They changed the beam angle on these lights and it adds two stops of diffusion. This, for the most part, negates any need for a modifier. I've used this light for a month and I haven't had a need for a modifier once. This is me standing in broad daylight with two stops of diffusion on me. I then go around to the back of the light, turn the diffusion all the way off, and you can see the difference. You can also see that puts out a lot of power in LED during the day. As we know, the closer we get our light source to our subject, the softer the light. Without a modifier and with that smart diffusion, I can get this light right up on my subjects and create some beautiful soft light compositions that just are incredible. Color. I think the biggest testament to how gorgeous the color is coming out of this light is the fact that I never have to use a gray card with it. I use auto white balance on my cameras with this light, which is something I don't do with any of my other lights. It's really that beautiful. Here at the Salton Sea, shooting with a brand new Rotolite flashing. It is incredible, shooting the beautiful Miss Courtney. In flash or in LED, I can get beautiful light any way that I want it. Ow, frick, that was a freaking rock, frick. I'm sorry, sweetie. My lanta, okay. My lanta, that's like such an old lady thing. Did say, oh, my lanta? Yeah. Look over to the light, don't move. If you're looking for cinematic tones, beautiful tones, natural tones, in any way that you want it, this is the light for you. Oh my lanta. See, it sounds good. Flash. The Titan X1 is a fantastic strobe as well as LED. You can set your own channels, your groups, and what's super cool guys is you can change the color in RGB to anything you want and strobe in that as well. It really has a ton of options available to it. One of the main reasons you've seen me strobing the light as much as I have is because it really saves the battery. And as a point of reference, when I'm strobing during the day, that's no modification. That's no smart soft diffusion on it. That's how soft that flash is. It is the softest bare bulb flash in the world, hands down. And as always, it has the patented Rotolite no recycle time. To have a flash with no recycle time that never overheats, and I can get a crazy, I mean tens of thousands of shots on the batteries, is unheard of. And it's why I am strobing this light everywhere I go. Battery life. So we're, we're packing up for the night. Um, I just wanted to show there's two batteries on here. One battery still has four bars left. The other battery has five bars left. So in other words, 
we shot for two and a half hours, mostly in flash. The end was in, in uh, continuous, but mostly in flash. And uh, we almost have all the battery left. So that's just incredible. So this is a time lapse of the shoot that we did. We were out there for about two and a half, three hours, like I said in the video. And we just went from flash to LED, back and forth, and we were strobing a ton. I mean, it was just, it's just incredible, guys, to have a light that can do all of that, never overheating, never running out of juice, doing over 1,700 shots. It's just such an incredible tool to be able to use. Portability. I immediately love this light because I can lift it up with one hand, take it where I need to go, grab the battery pack, a simple cable, and I'm out shooting anywhere I want to shoot. It's a hefty light, guys, but it's holdable. It's something that you can have somebody hold and shoot if you're on location, if you forgot a C-stand like we did here, and you have to do a shoot. And as you can see, my man Russ there, he's holding it like a champ. And you can even have some fun with it and have your crew do some exercises with it when you're done. <laughs> oh my God. I'm tired now. <laughs> I need very, a very portable. I need a break. Let's talk about setup. You can use the Titan X1 by plugging it into the wall, but the way that I use it is by using two batteries. You use the clamp that comes with the battery pack and you screw it onto the C-stand. Next, you attach the two V-mount batteries, the same that you would use on any of the other bigger rotor lights. You take the power cable, screw it into the battery pack, put the Titan X1 on top, as you can see, it isn't very heavy. You take that power cable, screw it into the bottom of the Titan X1, and turn on the power. I typically use the standard yoke, as you see here, which allows it to go up and down. But if you want to use the swan yoke, it'll allow you to place it onto the C-stand and rotate the light if that's something that you are looking to do in your work. When you're done shooting for the day, Close those barn doors, disconnect the cables, and put the light away. If you're looking to make movies, the Titan has some special effects that really are pretty amazing. Add thunder sound effects. And you're set. So the top lights are always big and bright. <laughs> yeah, it's rolling. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the cops are here. This is where you access the special effects that we are showing you guys. So here's strobe. Lightning, cycle where it goes through your colors. Here's one that shows like a mimics the effects of, of a fireplace, TV, and just saw a lot of really cool functions for you guys to be able to use. The Titan X1 has the same beautiful control panel as its bigger brother, the X2. Here's how you use it. Here's um, your main panel when you're shooting for videography, cinematography, or for photography. And here's where you choose your, your power, your color, your Kelvin right there, all the way from 3000 to 10,000 Kelvin, and your diffusion. Now let's say you really like something. So let's, let's say I wanna shoot like a daylight 4500, right? So if I, if I like 4500 and I, I like it at 100% and I like my diffusion at um, 100%, I can hit one, and it'll say if it wants me to, to save this as a preset. Now I already saved this one as a preset, which is why it says recall preset. So I'm gonna say no. But let's say I wanna do a no diffusion, maybe during the daytime. Okay, save to preset. So you hold the button, it saved a preset. So now it's a two. So if typically when I'm shooting outdoors and there's a lot of sun, I'll have it at zero diffusion. But let's say the clouds come up and I need those two extra stops of diffusion to really soften the light. I hit one, recall preset, yes, and now it's right to that. 
here's the here's the X Y. Here's the full gamut of colors, and I can choose any color here, and just with my finger <laughs> manipulate exactly where I want the color to be. So it's the fastest possible way for you to be able to find the color that you're seeking for a background or whatever else it may be. I, there's a full filter pack that you can try. This has a bunch of filters from all the main filter manufacturers and they, you can just toggle through them. Now it's gonna go through all the different orange, all the different reds that are available. Now I can go through all the different blues that are available. Here's your hue and saturation where you can choose the different hues that you want and the saturation levels for each one. And when you see a triangle like that, it means you press the button and move it. And now inside of that certain color scheme, now I can decide how much diffusion I want inside of it. So when you see that triangle underneath, it means if you press the knob and hold it, it changes a secondary feature. Here's your RGBW, red, green, blues. You can choose percentages for all of the different ones. Works really, really well. Again, you can just change the certain percentages that you want for your reds, your greens, your blues. It's just such a cool light. Price. For light that's powerful, portable, it can do about 80 to 90% of what I think any creator would want to do out there. It's not cheap. But if you think about it, this light is about the same cost as a great lens. And when you compare it to any other sky panel or light like that, this light not only does more, but also costs less. And when it comes down to it, photography is painting with light. Right now, in conjunction with Rotolite, I am running bundles specifically for my followers. If you go to rotolite.com slash jasonoffers, you can see these bundles. And if there's anything I could tell photographers to invest in, it would be lenses and lights, because that is how you make your magic. This guy's gonna kill us, so we I better know. do it. All right. <laughs> Are you busy meditating? I am. You remember, and I'll point to you, and that's when you say it. Okay. Okay. Until yeah. next time. Keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Let's find out if it works for you, and remember, or you only have what? One. Hey, one what? You only have one chance to get it right. And when you have two ladies saying it, you better get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now it's time to party. <laughs> exactly. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Get it right, guys. One, one time to make it right. One time. One chance to get it right. Yeah. Good. It's like a Disney. We need to do the Disney one now.